Hey, Alice. Yeah? Do you know what the world's deadliest infectious disease is? Tuberculosis. Do you know what the world's deadliest infectious disease was in 1950? Tuberculosis. Do you know what it was in 1850? Tuberculosis. Do you know what it was in 1650? Tuberculosis. The big difference between tuberculosis then and tuberculosis since 1955 is that it's now treatable. You may correctly ask, why then, in a world where this is completely treatable, are more than a million people who are getting TB not making it every single year? But if you look back to 2010, it's fallen by more than 25%. A lot of that is from great work from the World Health Organization and associated institutions on actually distributing this medication to less privileged countries, but there are still lots of challenges with TB, like how easy it is to transmit, the lack of an effective vaccine, and drug resistance. I understand that it's difficult for governments and their citizens to prioritize issues that are not a direct threat to them, but if the not so distant past taught us anything, it's that other places' problems can very quickly become ours. Should we be doing more?